Oh, if you're hungry, the sixth annual Taste of Korea is coming up on Veterans Day. And I'm happy to be joined by Amanda Chang, chairperson of the Hawaii Korean Cultural Center, and Chef Hyun Kim to get a taste of what's going to be coming up for this event. Thank you so much for joining us on Living Thank 808. Thank you so much for having us. Well, let's yes. talk about this event. It's very popular in its mm -hmm. sixth year. Oh, what are some of the experiences people can expect this year? Uh, food, entertainment, and a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That's what the Taste of Korea is about. And that's coming up Veterans Day. Where should people come to experience okay. this? It's going to be at the Japanese Cultural Center, uh, 6 p.m. And Manoa Grand Ballroom is the top floor. So it's going to be a fun day of uh, food, entertainment, and friends. And that's what it is. Yeah. That is all about Korean culture. I know I've talked yeah. about this in my family. It's all about that. So let's talk about some of the restaurants that are going to be featured. Sure. We have a. Uh, um, Restaurants that's been participating for the last six years, like MW, The Pig and the Lady, Haile's Hawaiian Food, uh, Baratania Antipastos, Chogajip Korean uh, Restaurant. And you know, this year we're going to have Okim's Contemporary Kitchen. Chef Hyun Kim is here. Uh, and also, we're going to have a Waipuna Sushi. And Myeongnang Hot Dog is a Korean restaurant from Korea. Mm. They are operating at the um, Food court at La Moana. Mm -hmm. Another new com comer is Soul Mix. It is another uh, Korean venue. Okay. Came from LA and they are located at the Lanai uh, Food Court at La Moana as well. So we have a various non Korean restaurant preparing like fusion Korean mm. with some ingredients of Korean dishes as well as uh, authentic Korean restaurant and contemporary Korean food as well. We're seeing the Korean influence everywhere now from yes. gochujang to galbi yes. and bulgogi tacos. Yes. Uh, Chef Hyun Kim, we're going to do gimbap, right? Yep. Tell me what we do here. Uh, we're going to make the day the bulgogi gimbap. Mm, my so beef with the, we use the purple rice. Mm. The mix with the black rice and the white rice. Okay. And then I'm gonna put bulgogi on top. And do you serve it like this at your uh, restaurant? No, this is this is for only event. for a taste of Korea. Fantastic. Yeah. And then I'm gonna put some kettle for color. This is so popular, I know, in the culture to make it together as a family yeah. for big gatherings. They just start it. Korean sushi for people who don't know. <laughs> And is that a certain type of a nori, the sea, seafood? Oh, uh, yeah. We, I'm using the Japanese sushi nori. Japanese, okay. It's so hard to get a Korean nori here. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is that. And then I have some potato cream with a oh. truffle espuma. Oh, wow. That's so. a special sauce here. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Fantastic. So, you'll be serving this up for a Tasty yep. Korea. A lot of that. How many people are you expecting there, Amanda? You know, um, in past years, we had about 450 to about 550 people gathering. Uh -huh. And we do also have uh, um, entertainment as well. Mm -hmm. But the, what's important is this is for a nonprofit entity Hawaii Korean Cultural Center is hosting. And our goal is to raise funds from this event to build a Korean Cultural Center. What's ironic is because we don't have a Korean Cultural Center in Hawaii, we are hosting this foodie tasting mm -hmm. event at Japanese Cultural Center, which we're grateful for. So our goal is to raise enough money to build a similar cultural center like Japanese one, so that you know, we can uh, offer this type of event to share with the entire community in Hawaii, as well as visitors who are visiting Hawaii. So that's our goal. How can people get tickets to support then? Um, they can purchase either by calling or online. Okay. We have a hawaiikcc.org, Hawaii Korean Culture Center. So it's a KCC. So hawaiikcc.org. All right. You can purchase online or you can call me at 535-8460. Uh, All right. We'll post that online. Is it ready for me to do a taste test? I know it looks delicious. <laughs> <laughs> what do we need to do to finish it up here? <laughs> All right. Is this one okay? All right, I'm going to go for it. You can just a little, bit, a little bit of the potato sauce. Okay, I'll try and do this gracefully. Thank yeah. you. You know, in addition to food, we also have a tasting of uh, liquor as well offered. We have Anheuser Busch okay. offering, uh, you know, beer, like Budweiser, sure. etc. But we also have Koha Foods offering imported Korean liquor. So you can accompany your food with a Korean liquor such as soju, mm. 
mm -hmm. uh, makgeolli, which is rice wine. We also have a uh, fruity wine uh, and, and Korean beer as well. So it's a free tasting as well, It'll all included. Why not, right? This is delicious. You're going to want to come out this, find Chef Hyun Kim, support this, and get Hawaii's own Korean Cultural Center. Thank you both for coming oh, in. Thank you so much for having us. Thank you. All right, you might see me at the event too. Great. Thank this. you. Just like Grandma used to make it. Thank you.